Today I am going to bring in some of the most exciting and most misunderstood facts about why do people die suddenly. The second one is people think those who are absolutely fit and fine and young, why do they die? People have a lot of uh, inspirations the moment they uh, watch in, uh, an event on screen or an inspirational movies from their favorite heroes. So people start thinking tomorrow that they should become, you know, X, Y, Z. And most of the youngsters always feel, you know, having drugs, having alcohol, smoking is all cool. Life Science Limited, partnering for life. Hi, uh, myself, I'm Dr. Rahul. I'm the lead cardiologist at Dr. Rahul Sarkar Center. Today, I'm going to bring in some of the most exciting and most misunderstood facts about why do people die suddenly. The sudden cardiac death, otherwise called sudden cardiac arrest, SCA, is a subject of great interest for all of us. The sudden cardiac death results in a sudden cessation of heart function, which results in, you know, lack of blood pumping to the body, organ and brain, which results in death. The people who are fit and young, why do they die? So there is definite reason for it. So most of the people doesn't know there is something called an heart age and something called an body age. So these two unfortunately doesn't go hand in hand. The people who lead a very active cardiac friendly lifestyle, even with them the difference between your chronological age, that was the day you born and will be calculated upwards and the heart age has a difference of about 8 years for men and 5 years for women. And now you can imagine a people who leads kind of an indisciplined life in terms of their physical activity, in terms of food, in terms of sleep in terms of you know the amount of water they consume so the difference can be as much as 20 years so even though we are seeing somebody who looks 30 who looks fit so heart wise he may not be as fit as how he appears to be people have a lot of uh, inspirations the moment they uh, watch in uh, an event on screen or an inspirational movies from their favorite heroes so people start thinking tomorrow that they should become, you know, X, Y, Z. But uh, the fact is, everybody is not built the same. Well, uh, just to answer this, the mind is limitless, but heart is an infinite structure. So it can support an X number of activities to a given person. When we look at somebody who works for, you know, two hours of intensive physical activities, they get on very well and some people draw inspiration from you know their favorite movies or some kind of documentaries or looking at some sports activities and just to try to mimic them without a proper counseling, without a proper guidance and they get into this trouble of you know uh, landing up in an, an acute uh, heart emergency. Why that happens? Why that happens? Because every individual is not built the same. So if you are going from your safe zone of physical activity, what is you know uh, uh, flagged as an intensive zone, so you need to understand accordingly how your heart is being built. So there are few conditions, especially 
related to blood pipes like you may be developing in early blockages it may be genetic or kind of you know lifestyle you are led and more so people who led a very bad indisciplined life in terms of their eating and physical activities these are the people who develop sudden inspiration to get well get fit and without even a proper guidance evaluation they try and go and taking an intensive work which body is absolutely not prepared for so that's where we land up in a problem and that's and other than that there are few medical conditions where a person can still lead a safe life as long as he sticks to his daily activities of life like place a to b and doing a moderate kind of an work when you are crossing that safe zone you have to look at your heart whether you are built to take up that intensive activities and most of the youngsters always feel you know having drugs having alcohol smoking is all cool any kind of medication which alleviates your mood and makes your mind happy is not an friend of heart so every time you take some recreational uh, drugs beat a smoke alcohol cocaine amphetamine cannabis any of this so these are all quite common among uh, the party goers and the young crowd you need not be a celebrity to have an access or uh, to try all these uh, substances so when you smoke cocaine especially or a cannabis so these can these can instantaneously uh, kill you not because you had a blockages so the very nature of these drugs when you smoke cocaine the cocaine causes an intense spasm of your heart blood pipes called the coronaries so what we call the coronary spasm so this is where a normal fit absolutely great doing individual can land up in an cardiac emergency unit because of this cardiac spasm and another thing is somebody become habituated because 10 times he smoked everything has gone well so the 11th time need not be the same case 10 times because somebody you know had it and they had a good time so 11th time maybe his time so one has to be one has to be really really careful when they get involved in such activities and especially so when they combine cocaine with alcohol that's that's always called and death cocktail why because once they mix cocaine with alcohol there is an strange compound that forms in the blood called cocoethylene so these compounds are 25 times more intense and has the you know capacity to kill someone so my request would be to move away from any of these drug abusers so when we talk about a uh, diagnosis and treatment so every disease has a set of tests which where we can uh, you know prevent this mishaps being you know happening uh, among the crowd so first few things we have to prevent uh, we have to recognize this early signs so what are those early signs where we can really prevent this on towards you know uh, untimely death so there are few symptoms which everybody has to recognize is common fainting so people just faint for no reason so fainting yes fainting is a one of the commonest and most recognizable you know conditions be it a small kid waiting in the drill or you know uh, at the end of the day exhaust you day you may just feel little giddy or little you may you may feel weak or you may just go blank but that may be the only harbinger of an you know greater calamity to come in the second most commonest sign is feeling palpitation your heart is racing for no reason when you sit your heart is going you know the ramping up so these these are the two things which you have to recognize with regards to rhythm issues and the other aspects is chest pain breathlessness is also an important thing you should never ever overlook these things so timely uh, attention can prevent something going terribly wrong 
The last thing I would be interested to talk to you with regards to the symptom is any kind of sudden death in your family can be a distant relative or an infant death nothing has happened baby slept but never woke up or somebody who is doing fine and fit you know ended up in a bad traffic accident without any reason or somebody who was swimming in the pool just drowned without any reason so these are the few very far signs to alert you that there may be something is going in your family maybe there will be some gene issues so for all this we have to recognize them very early and depending on the risk they involve so this can be prevented and also can be treated to a large extent